Hi, mommy. Why, mommy? So, uh, the article I had written for mommy, my principal, Mrs. Manira Gulzar, father's family name, Fikri. The article was, our love cart will never turn turtle. But in 1996, July, it seemed that our love cart had turned turtle. And like that student told me in St. Joseph's College that you will separate from the principal for two years. And that is what happened. So July was the beginning of the two years that we would be separated. What I believed in and what finally took place, the tragedy started. It seems to me that God never listens to me or that I don't listen to God. But I thought I was listening to God telling me that this love is so special between you and mommy and when you speak of your love, you bring me closer. And so God must have a mighty reason to have our love card turn turtle. Apparently, I no longer was there to make her smile. So how much of I have been made a fool of in this life, by this life? And how much have I made a fool out of myself? Life does not work on love, Zahra Jawad. So then what works on life? Life works on life. I don't believe that, then be prepared for shocks. And uh, what did Paolo Coelho say? He said uh, that in The Alchemist, listen to your heart. I've been listening to my heart. It gets aggravated, agitated. Uh, doesn't want to believe anymore and uh, suddenly there is a there was a change that I must not uh, listen to my heart uh, but uh, listen to the reason listen to my mind more regarding uh, mommy and uh, myself so my love has turned into a tragedy and it will be a lamentable poem resting in some poem book one day or a tragic love story resting in some love story book one day and be taught in schools and colleges. And then if in St. Joseph's College it will be taught, our spirits will be there. The greatest love story starting from St. Joseph's College apparently 
1989, September, we meet face to face. 999, 27th September, 1989, finally, we meet. And I know that this is the Fikri. And we met before, but uh, she just uh, shrugged me off, saying that uh, go find it in the newspaper when the admissions will be open. The principal had uh, no idea who she was talking to. But in the fashion show of my friend in St. Joseph's College, when my friend was a student there. I did not uh, see the principal. I asked her that you have a Fikri family principal. She said, she told me that uh, no, her name is not uh, Fikri. But I told her that Hajri had told me that she's married now. Not uh, now. Goodness. She has been married since 1962. But uh, tragically, after six months or three months, her mother died. In 1962. And uh, was the principal screaming? That I do not know. But as I started to do my self-hypnosis, I had closed my eyes and I was lying in my mother's bed on it, opposite where my mother's feet were and my head was, and my feet were and my mother's head was. And I was uh, saying, this is it. Although the yogi had told me not to hypnotize myself because I'm an intense person. I took the risk of doing it myself. He refused to hypnotize me. And so as I went deeper and deeper, I said, now where shall I go? I don't see anything. It is only darkness. So the only thing of the past the life I took myself to when I was dying. And uh, when I said this, go where you are dying, I don't remember how many times I had tried to hypnotize myself, but this time it worked. I heard uh, some screams and uh, so later I woke up, I got myself out of it, and so later I found out it could be the principal. While I was dying, she was there with me, screaming. And uh, at the food fair, Bosnia food fair, or another private uh, St. Joseph's College carnival. She asked me to get her ice cream. Ice cream cups, many, many. And uh, she has been the only one to tell me that she wanted to scream because I was sitting there in my room, afraid clouds had come and that it would starting start to rain. Sorry, my English is not very good. And uh, so it would uh, start to rain and that uh, mommy would call and uh, cancel the day today on a birthday. But uh, God had mercy and it did not uh, rain. And uh, finally we were going out 
to have dinner together in the car, she told me, if you tell me that you were waiting the whole day, fearful, I will scream. I never expected this from her, thinking that uh, she is such a brave woman. She has been through a lot. And afterwards, she has told me about the court and all this. So she was not uh, screaming, standing in the court, being interrogated. And uh, many things happened to her. So why scream now? You see how excited uh, this woman gets all of a sudden like she would have hysteria and this is what uh, Miss Desa told me do not be hysterical the bee bumblebee had come in we were doing this um, in that room gym weight lifting room and the bumblebee came and I started to scream and run. Miss Desa came and she scolded me. So I could have copied Miss Desa and my mind didn't go there at all. This is a great, great thing, God. I never, never thought, never believed that my mind would not go there to the past memories with the mummy you see what happens is that i'm in the moment and what are we going to talk about we are in the moment she can talk about the past how many times is she talking about the past Oh, so this is where you see in my diary I've written that uh, she may be talking about uh, the past in some, her school, about her school. She was in, she was thinking about her school and telling us now that uh, she was in Hamdard uh, school, and uh, she had taken us and me for dinner in a Chinese restaurant. So I was not in the past at all with her. In her presence, it was so miraculous that I was in the present and uh, so nothing can now bring me to the present. And uh, so it was this moment we are here with the beloved. What a feeling. This moment is so blessed. This moment is full. Awakening. My spirit awakened. What a change. In Center for Advanced Studies, I'm writing the date. Sometimes I can't remember what the date is. And I'm in a trance. And I joined St. Joseph's College. And I'm alert. The date. I remember, and while writing, I'm alert. And I do not have to bring myself here that the memories be at the back of my head are killing me from inside. And I am in Miss Desa's thoughts, broken. Restless. But what did this presence of mommy did to me? My goodness, such a miracle Mother Mary, baby Maria Malay Salam gave me. So every day, every moment 
in St. Joseph's College was a magic miracle. Angels were there. My soul was in ecstasy, dancing, dancing, dancing. Not uh, like the dance I was uh, practicing for my farewell. No, or for the fourth year farewell students. Anyhow, the dance is over because my beloved is no more with me. I cannot uh, see her in the morning or the afternoon. And uh, so this article I had written with so much conviction, belief, and the key was holding on to love and the right attitude, holding on. Just keep holding on until you've lost everything and everything is gone when there is nothing now to hold on to. And uh, there is a vacuum. There is this emptiness, empty place where you first were, my beloved. And my sight was so blessed to have you in front of me. And then now, no more. No more. Those bright days with you are gone. In that moment, it could not be enough if I thanked God with every breath that I took. And when writing that uh, article, I thought Bibi Mariam salam was telling me, the key is to hold on long enough. See, now the proper words have come. The key is long, holding on long enough. Yes, Bibi Mariam, alayhi salam. How could I lose faith in Bibi Mariam, alayhi salam, who was breathing faith in me through mummy? So then, I must uh, leave you now with this, and I will come back later with my talk.